Welcome back to another random bit. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can code a game without having a computer. So a few weeks ago, I was on holiday and uh, I was relaxing. And then I had a sudden itch to uh, write a game or, or do something like creative. Um, but all I had with me was my uh, mobile device. Um, however, I found a way to do this. So uh, first off, um, I discovered uh, Tick80. Uh, Tick80 is a bit like Pico 8 in that it's a virtual console. Uh, it's available on all sorts of different platforms, including in my case, an Android device. And it allows you to basically uh, create and play games. So this is the, the game I, I wrote on my device. Uh, run that over here. Um, I'll rotate it as well. Um, and this is a very simple game. Basically, you've got these arrows appearing and you've got to push in the direction of the arrow. Uh, but if it's got um, stripes on it, you've got to push it in the opposite direction and you've got to press as um, many as you can before the 60 seconds of time run out or you press the uh, wrong button um, and off you go. So a very, very simple game. Just press some buttons here and off we go. Um, but the beauty of this is that this is actually a full-blown um, development environment like Pico 8. It's got a sound editor, code editor, uh, and a graphics editor all built in. Uh, so I've rotated this way, exit out of the game, and you see I'm now at the um, the like console for the um, Tick80 tiny computer. And you can bring up uh, your keyboard and type. Now the one thing you'll notice is this keyboard here I have um, is the standard Android keyboard. Uh, there isn't really any um, useful code editing things like there's no escape keys, no cursor keys, nothing like that. So what you can do is you can actually install um, alternate keyboards and you can activate them by pressing and holding spacebar. In this case, I've installed a, a keyboard called Codeboard. I'll just bring that back up again. So Codeboard, you can download it out of the store. It's uh, free. Um, and uh, this brings up a editor like this. So if I press escape now and escape again, escape again, we're now in the code window and you can uh, navigate around and uh, edit the code, which is how I I created this entire game. Um, you can also, if I rotate, get rid of the keyboard, uh, tap on these icons at the top here, and you can see the um, pixel editor that I used um, to edit the, um, the graphics and uh, create all these little arrows that I use the sprites. Uh, there's a map editor, sound effects editor, and the music editor as well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the code editor, which generally you could only use in uh, this mode, yeah. So a little constrained, uh, but um, actually quite fun to be able to code up a game on your mobile device and take it with you anywhere. Um, like Pico 8, you can actually um, export this game. Um, so I was able to actually export this game um, to HTML and have it run uh, in a web browser. So yeah, there you have it. If you uh, find yourself suddenly needing to uh, code a game on the run, I'd suggest using uh, Tick80 and uh, uh, the code board keyboard and uh, have some fun. And uh, yep, I'm terrible at my own game. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, if you like this, press the like button, um, subscribe and press the bell to get notifications uh, for my future videos.